This uh, video is for Scott. First of all, uh, thanks for uh, guiding me to purchase my new first ever ICOMS IC7000 radio transceiver. I really, really am happy with it. No scratches, excellent mint condition. And um, I'm very, very happy with it. So I'm doing a little very video, a little short one. I don't know much about the radio. I'm still learning as I'm going. I don't have a power supply. You're going to see um, I have a 12 volt battery. And uh, if you look back here, as you mentioned, the, fate, uh, the back right is for HF and the left side is for VHF, UHF. I don't have, uh, it's way too cold. I just have it sitting on my bed. It's way too cold outside to mount, string any type of antenna. I'm not doing it now. So all I have is uh, a coax. And then um, just some 18 gauge wire, about 10 feet to one side. And another 10 feet or so just a very cheap dipole and I even compared it to my uh, R75 this guy blows away the R75 top top radio I love it I'm very happy with it and thanks again Scott it was a uh, you're out hunting for a radio for me. I really appreciate that. And the purchase went smooth, and I'm very happy. All right, let's uh, turn it on. Oh, yeah, and I don't have the mic hooked up. I dropped the RF power down to zero. I don't want to transmit by accident. I have it on my bed. I kind of sleep here with it. <laughs> I don't take chances. I don't fool around. Um, when I do mount the antenna and my tuner and put it on a desk somewhere, some corner, then uh, I'll hook up the mic, but not for now. Excellent radio. The sensitive sensitivity and the sound is way better than this receiver. I, I I'm very impressed. I don't go into the sub menus and sub sub menus. I went to look. I played around a little bit, but uh, I never changed nothing. All I learned what to do is uh, play with uh, memory channels, the VFO and the memory and programming changing changing channels the guy before me had all these uh, family radio channels programmed in there I just did these 80 meter frequencies just to practice right, let's go back here and um, Very happy with this guy. Thank you very much for finding it for me. If you do that, it's 50 ohm uh, coax. Uh, and it doesn't have to be heliac, just regular coax. Not, not. Excellent condition. Ohm. No scratches. Uh, and, uh, taking care and of. Very you, good radio. Uh, use whatever tuner you got there. And, uh, I'll be doing more videos on this radio and comparisons with other radios when I learn more about it. Uh, right now I'm not transmitting and I'm not changing any settings. How it came is how I have it. Anyway Scott, that's the short video and there will be more to come.